within one month he was able to get lmia job yes lmia job and this is what he so, did if you know that it is um worker health and safety certificate that will help you to get this job what are you waiting for go and get that certificate and certification programs are just sometimes one day some few hours it doesn't take much time to get that job if maybe you've seen a job post for abc company on indeed just go to your google search or any web browser just type in in it abc company go to their website the main company website look through their menu and choose career or careers when you you see careers that is where the job posts are so that you can apply directly through the company because you have to add initiative to whatever that you are doing this and is what you can do these are your skills these are your credential your qualifications that is what they need they need you to prove to them that yes you have that kind of initiative skills hello my ladies and my gentlemen here gifty is here again you see the way i'm happy today hmm. the information that i'm bringing to you today this one is from personal experience okay i like it when i get a personal experience like something that someone has experience done research okay because that one will give me like a clear evidence of whatever that i am coming to tell you so if you are new here my name is gifty i mostly share content about anything in helping you in relocating to canada and life in canada in general to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always being here with me thank you for the 1k subscription i really appreciate whatever that you are doing being with me always sharing my videos and liking as well in fact i really really appreciate this please please let's help and keep this family today i would give you an information of what you need to do when you come in as a visitor okay i have seen that there is so many informations out there that um it's just like when you are here on a visitor's visa it's very very difficult to find job or it's even difficult to change your visitor's visa to a work permit or a study permit yes they are all information to um keep you alarm or keep you alert of whatever that you can expect when you come but that shouldn't put fear in you if that is the only option you can use to enter canada please please it all depends on you even when you come here on a work permit and you are not being initiative you are not taking initiative you won't still get job if you come here on a permanent resident and you are not being hard on yourself to find job you won't get the same thing happens to like when you come here as a student you need to be hard so if you have that legal right to convert your visitor's visa to a work permit you don't need to get that information to put fear in you it's just to keep you alert so this information is from a personal person of mine in fact um since when i started creating content on um visitors visa this is the person that i am getting all my information from because he has been successful just that he just don't want me to um interview him because <laughs> there is some kind of shyness in him to bring his face to the public so I just received the information and i will share it to you as received so when my friend entered in canada within one month he was able to get lmia job yes lmia job and this is what he did to get that job so whatever that i am coming to give to you today is tips that you should do when you are here even 
not on the visitor's visa if you are here on any visa and you are eligible to apply for a work in canada you have to use these tips okay if this information is something that you are interested in please stay tuned till the end of the video okay so the first thing you have to do when you come here on a visitor's visa and you are willing to stay in canada the first thing you have to do is to get a sim card yes you have to get a sim card because in case you are applying for jobs you need your number on your cv so you have to get yourself a sim card yes as a visitor you are eligible for this so you have to get a form plan for yourself where you can get as low as 30 35 okay depending on the province that you are in you have to get the same card depending on the province that you are in you can get unlimited calls test and also for chat as well so if you get your sim card you probably get a prepaid because the postpaid um i'm not sure it will be possible so you get a prepaid plan for yourself where you will pay each and every month before it get loaded okay so that is the first thing you have to get sim card okay when you are done with this the second thing you would need to consider is to open a bank account don't be surprised as a visitor you can open a bank account whilst you are in canada so get a bank account for yourself and before you open this bank account you have to get your sim card right so get a sim card first then you go in and open a bank account for yourself in case you get a job remember they will need your void details to be paying you so you need to open a bank account the third thing you have to consider is your cv so concerning the cv or the resume you don't need to get one cv for all your job your job um applications you have to make sure that in every job application you will tailor your cv to the job description so you have to structure your cv so maybe probably you haven't um searched for your job cs just get a general um or a skeleton of your cv the canadian um standard cv just put it down then when you are done don't waste your time when you are done with these three things don't waste your time start searching for your job immediately and what you have to do is that though the the online job applications on indeed and linkedin job banks and all these things they are fine okay but one thing what one tips that i will give you is that when you you go on indeed or job banks you look at the job descriptions of the position you want okay and tailor your cv to suit that job description and one thing that i have noticed that my friend also did was that when he 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 sees the job on indeed he will go straight to the website the main website of the company i don't know if you are getting me you go to the main website of the company so if maybe you've seen a job post for abc company on indeed just go to your google search or any web browser just type in in it abc company go to their website the main company website look through their menu and choose career or careers when you you see careers that is where the job posts are so that you can apply directly through the company because sometimes on indeed the possibility of um your cv reaching the employer is kind of low because indeed will try to filter using the ats before it will go to the employer so if you go to the website of the company and you apply it directly it goes to their career section directly so that the hiring manager or whoever can review it for you so this was one thing that he did okay so after these tips that is for the online you don't also need to sit down waiting because you've applied online 
sometimes the companies will bring up their numbers or their address on their company website pick it up call them you have to add initiative to whatever that you are doing and for canadian employers this is what they want they want to see that you have that kind of um initiative you are able to express yourself very very well so just call them i have applied online i have applied for this position online i haven't heard back this is what i can do these are my skills okay so you just have to take initiative if you you have the company's address pick your cv again go to the company submit it tell them you have already applied for online you haven't heard anything this is what you can do these are your skills these are your credential your qualifications that is what they need they need you to prove to them that yes you have that kind of initiative skills you are expressive that is what they need from you so that is why you have to show you don't need to just sit home and be searching applying resumes online walk in and me i believe in the walk in um submitting of application person submission of applications because it really really helps it makes them feel like yes you have that kind of um skills that they need do you get it so this is what you have to do another thing that you have to do take the manager i would like to apply for a job all right i'll take you to my manager thank you just this way okay here is my manager thank you hi how can i help you i would like to apply for a job i have my resume are you here yes we are hiring thanks can i have your resume yeah thank you, you may will. i ask you a few questions yes of course um can you tell me when can you start working anytime okay and what is your availability my availability monday to friday uh, 8 a.m to 6 p.m all right that's interesting and did you work in your country yes okay and have you worked uh, in canada no yet not yet so you're looking for your first position yes all right we are hiring mm -hmm. so i will take a look at your resume okay. and i hope to give you a call next week thank you thank you very much thank you yeah have a good day Alan? another option that you should do is that if you want to look for lmia jobs you can just go on google everything is just on the net type lmia jobs in maybe your province that you are in or even your city to make it specific if you don't want to even use your city because you are on a visited visa and you are able to move anywhere and um, lmia jobs in ontario it will bring up a whole lot of jobs under lmia okay just use this um opportunity look into the company apply and add those um, first two options i mentioned go to the company's website apply or work in apply pick the address pick their number and call this is what you have to be doing don't just sit down and receive information from online it's difficult to to get jobs it's difficult to get jobs those are things that is just alarming you of what you should anticipate okay but it doesn't mean that when you can sit down because you won't get job you have to take initiative that is the only thing that i can see and that is what he used in getting his job in just one month in landing in canada so the first thing you have to do get your sim card open a bank account take initiative structure your cv make sure that you don't apply for jobs with the same cv tailor your cv to each and every job that you are going to apply for another thing that i will also talk about is if you are in canada and you can take any certification programs once you are on a visited visa remember you can also take some courses so if you know that it is um worker health and safety certificate that will help you to get this job what are you waiting for go and get that certificate and certification programs are just sometimes one day some few hours it doesn't take much time if it is first aid and cpr that will help you to get that job go take that certificate job to enhance your cv that is what he did 
So I am bringing this information to you from someone who was successful with all these tips. So you don't need to waste your time when you are on a visitor's visa. Remember, you just have six months. You can only extend though, but you have to utilize your six months so that you'll be able to switch it very, very fast. So being in Canada with a work permit or with a permanent residence or with even a student visa doesn't guarantee you that you will get job easily. You have to take initiative to get jobs. So if you are a student, this one goes for you. If you are on a visitor, specifically this goes for you. If you are on a work permit, this one goes for you. So today the video will be very, very short. This is what you have to do to get job faster when you reach Canada on a visitor visa. So please, if you are here, you are watching this video and you are on a visitor visa, it is not too late for you. Start this process as soon as possible. If you are planning to move in as a visitor and this is the only option that you have, this is what you have to do when you come here on a visitor visa don't just um stop whatever that you are doing because you feel like when you come you won't get lmia specific job it all depends on the initiative you will take when you come here so if this video has been helpful for you please please subscribe i'll be bringing you more content like this video for me for it to reach the larger community so that it can also benefit from this Thank you very much. Let me be the first person to wish you Merry Christmas. So I'll be bringing you other content on how to structure your Canadian standard CV, though I have mentioned in my other video. So if you haven't watched that video, go and watch that video. There is some CV tips in that video, okay? So that you get abreast with everything. I wish you all the best in your job search and I wish you a good luck on your visitor visa. You are going to survive it. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.